Discord, and once again, I'm joined by Thomas, who goes by Yama. We are continuing our uh, experiments into budget starting, getting into L5R on a bit of a budget. Uh, this week, we are on Scorpion, and taking a look at your deck li list, Thomas, we have gone very different ways. So I'll let you kick off, since we are on your deck list. Right, so what I uh, decided to do is uh, do something classic, like uh, Scorpion is associated very strong, strongly with the uh, Dishonor Ring Condition and Dishonoring Characters, so that's something I tried to go for with uh, this build. Uh, unfortunately, actually doing a lot of Dishonor tokens wasn't really accessible. Uh -huh. So I did find some ways uh, for direct uh, honor stealing. So unfortunately, Black Tunnel Archers is a uh, core card, which is yeah. which is an uh, amazing character. Does a lot of work. Uh, the I definitely noticed that without the access to larger cards, the Dynasty side is definitely a lot uh, weaker. Because a lot of these cards felt to me like uh, filler cards. Yeah, I was gonna say looking at back alley hideaway doesn't. Uh, not... This will be the first time I've seen it see play in since it got accidentally killed by a ruling. Uh, what was the ruling? Because I, I honestly, how uh, is it? To... So there was a ruling that came out that said that uh, cards in Dynasty um, or cards in Provinces can only enter play during the Dynasty phase. And, okay, si now and since Back Alley Hideaway puts it in the Province, you can only trigger its action during the Dynasty phase. Yeah, that's fine. Like my... Main point to push the back alley how was was first it's a filler card. Uh, second it allows me to use the other characters uh, for longer. It's yeah. It's it's uh, a shame I don't get to use the uh, raw text. Right. But uh, I'm I'll still be getting used out of uh, like getting extra uses of the black no artist or the young room one of the favorite niece is definitely gonna be uh, very useful. Uh, the uh, the core cards aren't much much to say. A lot of these are are filler to be issue manipulator, black Mountain artist, and I'd say the favorite these are stables. This is sure actress goes in and out of decks. Yeah. Uh, the big characters, Miyako, Yunako, Hiroe, and Shoryu, they but about Yunako I don't think I actually sees a lot of play. Uh, she was popular briefly when Scorpion had a commander deck. Right, so between the Chuka, Chuka. Uh, Yunako and uh, Denmaru. Yep. Uh, City of Lies is actually a, a, probably one of the best strongholds, non unique strongholds in the game, or strongest holdings. Yeah, it, it can do a cost, lot. I'm curious. Cost, yeah, cost reduction is pretty relevant. Ooh, I don't know about it in this deck, because you've only got two cards. Yep. That it can pop, that, that it can trigger on. My uh, assortment of cards I could actually pick out of was very disappointing. Ah, uh, okay. I guess actually, uh, uh, the Aegis Aegis Chrome. Chrome yeah. Will will yeah. let you do it. <laughs> um, but you can't have two of her. I can, because she's from my Dynasty pack. No, she... Oh, into the Forbidden City. Okay. I thought she was core. Never mind. No. No, uh, Lying core cards are actually good. Mm, okay. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, going back uh, to the other sort of, of cards I picked. Uh, so, uh, back on the highway filler, it's, it's there. Uh, to get more uses of the uh, 1x characters. Uh, Falling Diplomat is a decent character. 
using gravy style, but it, uh, the favor control is pretty important because I'm also running a singer. Yeah. Out of uh, the clan pack, Alloy Artist is the amazing card. Yeah, it's probably, definitely. Um, Seven two, two Seeker kind of killer, but it's going to help me because there's a sort of combo uh, effect sort of combo in, in the conflict side, which I'll talk about in a bit. Uh, so sure that Takao is a fine, unique character, which is also going to be relevant in a bit. And the instant drive is going to help with the dishonor. Uh, Sinister Peacekeeper is uh, just to make people mad. Yep, that's that's what she's really good at. Uh, for contact, she is a... Could you hover over? So... Yeah. Uh, one cost... One cost R2, which is already amazing, to Glory, which is even better. fine. It, I don't know, it, it's probably fine in this deck because I'm not actually trying to dishonor my own characters like the KB, QDMB deck. Mm -hmm. uh, but her reaction uh, to prevent my opponent from gaining honor is massive. Yes. Because the joke is uh, if my opponent, if I have multiple in the field, I can actually dishonor my opponent. In an epic game, yeah. So if you gain one honor, I can yeah, make yeah. you lose two. Lose plus. Two or three, yeah. Yep. Which, which is kind of silly. Uh, conflict side, it's the general killer assassination and bonsai. Uh, I am running contingency plan because. Um, Sorry, say that again. You're running oh contingency plan. Okay, contingency for plan. a little extra dishonor. Yep, like sometimes that that one point can matter a lot. Yep. Uh, also, you can use that to trigger the sinister peacekeepers. Yes, because I can raise you can it. Raise it so you yep. give me an honor, but if you have multiples, uh, I end up losing the honor. Yep, and uh, that also works pretty okay with uh, instant rival because he's a dual. Yes. Uh, quick games and uh, for Shane. Uh, ready for battle is mostly just for me. For, um, mo mostly just for you, but it's also one, one of the few noteworthy lining cards I had access to. Because mm -hmm. I'm also not using most of my influence, because I honestly didn't know what else to pick. Because honestly, this whole splash is based on uh, from the Temptation Cycle, the uh, Revere, uh, Renowned Singer. Yeah. Uh, which is a stupid card and should probably not be this way. Um, I think it's mostly okay because it's in a water roll. No, it, it, it's not okay, which is uh, because the card above it, Wave of Words. Oh, sure. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, you can combo it, but, you know... And also the, the, the city, sit, uh, city of the Open Hand is also an honor game, so I'm already one. Sure, it, but I mean, like, Scorpion has a tendency of breaking most things, and well, the, City is also one of the more problematic cards in the games that really, really needs to go away. Um, so if well, you, I think if you remove Renowned Singer from Scorpion, it's a perfectly fine card because it's in water. Well, no, because it's, it's still accessible to line. It's it's just a. It, this is a tangent, but it, uh, if you go, could you go to the card back? It shouldn't have that last line of text to place the other card on the bottom of your conflict deck. There, there, there needs to be a choice. Like it should have just been removed from play. So that's supposed to be a downside because it is a lion card and they have a lot of um, conflict recursion. And yeah, so, so actually, by putting it on the, by putting it on the bottom it removes it from um, recursion like uh, exposed courtyard or uh, spirit caller if it's a character except uh, tactical ingenuity exists. I mean, sure. Tactical Ingenuity is another problem card. And, yep. like, I... I'm not super keen on... Confl the, the, conflating a card, like, one card's power with another card's power. 
uh, talking about that, let's go to the to another problem card, backhanded compliment. Uh, see, this is also a fine card. Sure, let's say it is. So, uh, renowned singer plus backhanded compliment is amazing. Sure, it lets you. I mean, at the same time, though, I have that choice, and if you've played like this is like if you've played two backhanded compliments, you only get a third out of one singer. And you have to play four, or you have to play four total, including the recurred one, to be if, able to pull I, it back with another singer. If I play three backhanded compliments, I can pull five uh, with renowned singer, with two renowned singers. I can't get the sixth one because of going back into the deck. Uh, no, you should be only able to get if you play three. Yeah, if I play three, I pick two, one goes, uh, I, I play oh, yeah, one play of them. Right. Yeah, you get five. Yeah. Sure. But I mean, again, like... This is both, this is, this is basically just, just to get um, the run singers to get more use out of my 1x cards uh, and to m increase the threat range back on the complement presents. Oh, sure. And, like, but again, like, both those cards are fine and fine cards can have very strong effects in combination with other fine cards. I mean, I, I personally don't think that kind of compliment is fine, because I don't like randomly losing the game. I mean, so... And this is... It's a, it's it, a very it's, it's a very feels, feels bad card. It I mean, yes, but that doesn't mean it's a bad card. Or, or a problem card. Like, at any card that presents a blowout... Or any card that makes you lose the game is a feels bad card. Sure, but that's a uh, conversation for another time. Sure. Uh, then um, going in a weird order here, but sorry for that. Oh, no, we're fine. We're just bouncing around. Uh, so into the February so it was actually a pretty great pack because it gave me the censure, gave me the Aether Scrolls, which were actually decent. Oh, that is conflict, Chica. Okay. Yeah, uh, I need. I uh, need bodies and specifically unique bodies for Kunshu. For Kunshu, is it? Because hey, uh, you know what? I'll, I'm going to use your cards because that's fun. Yep. So I have weird feelings about Kunshu, and I I don't know that two is the correct number to run in this specific format. It probably is just because consistency is all over the place. Yeah. But in, like, a normal thing, running two kind of sucks. Yeah, they are, on, honestly, the, none of the weapons are playable because of the way attachments work in this game. Like, either they're overpriced because of attachment control existing, mm -hmm. or they're undercosted because they're zero and they do too much. Well, no, what I was going to say, the problem with Kunshu is that it's unique. And Scorpion tends to have a, a metric fuck ton of card draw available to it. Yeah. So you will, uh, you'll often find yourself staring at the second one while one's in play. Yeah, which is why I did put in the favorite niece because mm -hmm. favorite niece and uh, in con in a larger card pool, the favorite niece and the um, master whisper. Master whisper basically I mean every dead card you have for consistency's sake doesn't become a dead card. Right. Uh, so last thing is my province lineup. I actually was pretty happy with the province lineup. Uh, oh, I, I, cash. I hate my province lineup. It's fucking miserable. But yeah. Six cash, still a good card. Mm -hmm. uh, Gorgeous screen, still a good card. A uh, meditation of the tower is the only filler one, but I needed a fire province. Jabble display, still. A still shameful. Card. Yep. And silent one's monastery because hey. Why not? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've put together a stronger deck than I did. Oh, wow. How does this keep happening? I, I don't know. I think... Uh, hang on, let me get to this view so we don't have all this trash on the side. Um, I went with uh, a deck that I saw in the Invitational, I believe. Um, I wanted to see if I could kind of rebuild it. So I went with more of a tower idea. Interesting. 
Uh, I want to start with my province lineup because I hate that the most because okay. um, I the cards I needed kind of pushed me from being able to select. Um, I, I see. Yeah, uh, you you went with Clan Wars. I yeah. was considering Clan Wars because Clan Wars gives a lot it, to Scorpion. There's, there's a lot there. Um, so. I got cash. I have entrenched position. Meditation, shameful, elemental fury. Like these are basically. I, I had access to the core provinces with what I. The packs I had. Um, and actually, looking at this, hang on a second. Forty, sixty, hundred. I'm over. I need to take out. The uh, Miyako. Oh dear. Which is fine. I don't have that many neutral characters. And I, I just realized that when I was totaling up the values, I was looking at the uh, only one side. So, real quick, let me set up some filters. Uh, uh, core, Clan Wars, uh, Underhand, Underhand. And uh, into the Forbidden City, I think, is the one I needed. Uh, to be fair, that's one of the reasons why I'm going with the uh, core clan pack and four dynasty packs, because that's an even 120, and I don't need to think about it. <laughs> right. Hang on, it's not for that one. It is for Honor and Glory. Okay, there we go. So now I can get rid of that. Go to Conflict. And, um, sure. Okay, so, um, out of core, I have standard ish things, right? I got the manipulator, I got the Soshi, I got the mystics, rumor monger, actress, Surui, and shoju. Um, and, basically the same set of stuff over here. Uh, I don't think I cheated. Oh, no. Reprieves, oh, you did. Reprieves are in core. God damn it. Okay. Um, always fucking happens to me. I got excited. And, okay, so we'll take Stout Gunso. And how much does that leave me with? Actually, yeah. We'll lose a stealth gun, so we'll take a watch commander and uh, upper shin. Why not? For sure. Uh, okay, so now that I'm done accidentally cheating again, um, everything else is good. Okay, um, so yeah, basically everything over here, relatively standard. Uh, two of all the neutrals, one for Shane because I needed the filler spot. Uh, calling in favors, court mask for towering, the one reprieve, the one watch commander, Jade Tetsubo. Um, things that are relatively fine. I'm running out of KB, so that makes Hige Sermon better for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. I've got some conflict characters, stolen breath, just to try and force through some wins. Uh, common cause out of crab. Excellent cause is a really good more, card. More straightens. Uh, I threw that in because it was easy to find. Um, so the deck I saw in Clan Wars relied on Yojiro a bunch, and it was great. Interesting. Because if he's dishonored, it doesn't matter. Yeah, because of his text box. Right. So I can still stand him, and he's not a potato because he's dishonored. Um, there's also a lot of, and there's some synergy with um, Vice Proprietor as well, and the Acclaimed Kaisha House to get things dishonored. Um, the game I watched with that, he also negates the honor gain and loss from characters dying during a conflict if they're honored or dishonored. Yeah, because, oh, wait, really? Yes. Uh, Ignore the effects of each status token. Of, yeah, and so, losing on, losing honor from losing yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it was such a weird and random interaction, and I just loved it. Um, 
Aramoro's in there because he's good at killing things. Uh, I did throw in the one Shepherd to not absolutely have to rely on Yojiro. Um, I did get the three Master Whisperers, so I feel I'm going to be a bit more consistent um, on the conflict side just because I can pitch cards. Uh, although in this format, hitting you with it might be stronger. <laughs> just because things are completely inconsistent. Uh, that clan is not what I want to do. Uh, card type. It's so, also funny because the uh, Master Whisper is also not a terrible uh, mail outlet. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's basically what this is. It's a tower-ish deck. Uh, I have built a version of it uh, obviously not using the, the the parameters we've set for each other. Uh, and it's fairly reliable. Uh, I am also running uh, Kunshu in it and it does work. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what I came up with. Um, I think depending on the start, I think you definitely have the edge because Dishonor is a very strong uh, tactic. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a matter of speed in, in this weird uh, matchup as you're also sort of trying to Dishonor yourself. To an extent, yes. Now, the one issue is that like you have always seemed to have had much better luck than I have on flips early in the game. Um, so, yes, it's luck. It's not like I, I I'm friends with one of the uh, devs. I mean, you know, it it wouldn't be too hard to you know have some <laughs> fuzzy logic. Uh, machine learning thing to evaluate cards and just have them show up more often on your account. I mean, if I had a AI to, to do that, I, I'd probably ask you to make my decks better. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so, let me make sh just do a sanity check, make sure I did get the new version in here. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to at least mention... Um, I expect, especially since you are running a city deck, uh, that the Bayushi Collector is probably going to save my ass if he shows up. Oh, yeah, that's actually uh, a big include. Yeah. Uh, I got it mostly for the conflict character stuff, but also as a, a concession to the fact that um, I didn't take anything from the current cycle, so I don't have, or the newest cycle, so I don't have shit like Beautiful Entertainer to, you know, save my ass. So the Bayushi Collector is the person that is going to hopefully save my ass. So, let me... Uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting uh, episode of the anti Road Showdown. Yes. Uh, password will be 1234. Let's pick that. Uh, let me stop sharing my screen, so... Don't have the advantage, except I can't find the fucking Zoom thing. Language. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> that is that is not a thing I am capable of moderating. Where the hell is the the thing? Why can I not stop sharing my screen? Huh. This is just a stupid problem to have. Wait, was that? No, no. What the fuck do I have photos open for? Huh. Okay. Um. Hang on, maybe I can get to it. That's from over there. That's why. There we go, there's that, and oh, 
my god, there's still no no thing. Okay, so I guess I will just ask you not to look at my screen. Sure, I can do that. Um, what a stupid fucking problem to have. I can't stop the screen share. How bizarre. Alright. Uh, ooh, I get to pick. What am I actually putting on my box? Right. I mean, you're not stuck with just core provinces, so you have choices. I don't. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. I'll... I think I'll just pick this then. Hmm. Just recording. All right, sure. We'll just, um, we'll just rock with this. Uh, let's see. Think. Well, that wasn't worth it. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh, that's not great. Okay. Mr. Shoju's going to murder all of my people. No, oh, but you didn't buy them, so I'll take it. don't necessarily look great though but oh bother have that assassination. Goodbye, Crone. And strength in numbers. Hey, hey. I don't like that I didn't hit the ready for battle.
cut. Let's be intelligent and split things. I mean, you have to, so, I mean, I guess if you really, really want, you can get it back. Thankfully, none of these are good for you. I mean, I'm going to be honest, fire's probably the better one. Yep. So stops you from being able to use the singer. And I get favor, which matters oh so much. Uh, but I will definitely keep the actor now. Now things get interesting. Wait, did, did you choose not to use the... Oh, you used the 7 2 Seeker. Right, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you passed. I passed. Perfect. Oh. Ha! Right, that card was still there. Mm-hmm. Right. So, first things are first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attempt to make her as much of a potato as possible. do we find here? It's actually pretty fucking terrible. Um, well, not blocking seals like a bad idea.
screens. So he can't participate in politicals. I feel relatively okay with that. way to do this. You're not going to be really swinging back at me. That void ring actually makes things kind of awkward for me. That's good. Sorry about my dog. Someone is driving in front of the house, and that's apparently just not okay. That's fine. that void ring extra pointless yeah i i knew you had the uh, meditations in a row so uh -huh. okay so i don't think there's going to be much you're going to do to me here I gain money! Yay! All right, keeper over. I keep forgetting keeper keeper rolls and thing. Yeah, occasionally it matters. Uh. Yeah, I expected as much. Is, is this the one time I'm going to break the, the fucking streak here?
on the thing to stop screen sharing, so... Oh, god damn it, I just hit it again. Fuck. <laughs> uh, yep, you guys just pass. And... I'm gonna do that. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want you recurring cards, because we're going to be locked in at super low bids here. And um, that feels like a thing that's actually going to matter. Uh, so we are out of conflicts. Okay, so I need to not kill myself here. got no money, so this is just where we live. Uh, oh yeah, we don't have pitch cards yet. be a big flip. Ooh. Ah, cool. I lose the game. Yeah, I think you lose the game on that flip, because I can swing. I've got an out. It's... Yeah, I mean, it's not super over, um, but things do not look good for you. are just kind of awkward. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did you get all censures? No, there's something else that could, could save me, but it's, um, I'm mismanaged. Oh. Oh, Kachiko. Yeah. Yeah. Does this help? Okay. I think it's pretty big. Okay.
Lone Singer in the Conflict. Now I have a Peacekeeper. Jiro's doing work. Nice. So I am, uh, how far off am I from breaking now? Two? No, three. I realized I should have saved the uh, Quirkins for the uh, Renown Singer, because it didn't act, because the Jurgen Emblem has zero. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, there, there is that. Uh, okay, let's see if I can eat this out, right? Ooh, I can't. Can I? The outwit kind of stings. If you could make me lose an honor, that'd be great. I mean, I can, but I'm not going to. Please? <laughs> no. It opens up so many more things in my hand. No. But I ask nicely. Yeah, too bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Sure. Ooh. That's fine. Playing that court games, I think, actually cost you the game. Uh, yeah, because I see what you mean. Although looking at the board state, I, I could have won if I hadn't put two fate on the Yojimbo. Or at least I, mean, I, would have, I would have forced you to play more cards. I mean, I'm feeling the same way. Yeah, not having the money for that Kachiko definitely makes a world of difference. But you know what? You've been taking me to task for this entire series. <laughs> I thought I could get smart, but I shouldn't have attacked. Uh, not attacking... Not attacking would have given me a turn. True. 
just for the sake of good play. That'll be game. Woohoo! Finally! I don't, like, I, I granted on the Discord, I actually just switched over to Crane Clan for a change of play pace. But I don't have to turn in my Scorpion card. I probably should have put Cortius Greeting on the box. Yeah. Um. I was hoping. Yeah. I was hoping it being on the row would slow you down. That, that that you wouldn't ever ever uh, need to get to the box. Sure. Well, so courteous greeting is awkward against now, Kuden Bayushi. It now feels especially bad putting the fate on the Soshi and his peacekeeper, since I got a second Gachiko from the uh, draws. Oh no. Yeah, so I could have played played her with one fate and then fate her next turn. Mm -hmm. um, but well, that that's uh, it, that's it. A... It happens, right? I I know you you typically don't play scorpion. No, I've really got hardly any clue how how to so, like how to play play this game at all. It's so it it address it it is basically the reason why scorpion is such a problem faction is because. Their play pattern is very different, and, yeah, they, definitely. and they play the game on a very different axis. Yeah, it definitely feels like I'm missing a lot of the stall cards currently, like st stuff like the Vice Proprietor, um, more kill spells. Well, look at sure. Yeah. Um, I will say, I think Clan Wars is probably, if you're just getting into a game, possibly a must-buy for Scorpion. Yeah, I think just I tried... Just because of the stuff you get out of it. Yeah, I think I tried too hard, and, like, I, I'm probably sure you can win a, a game of this, like, you get the right hand to stall out the first turn, get oh, yeah. a favor. Don't get me wrong, like, I actually got really lucky in the fact that I got that Ige Sermon, and you only bought one character, because I did not have that in my hand. And I it, think it, that... It, it doesn't help that I have to ready for battle in your hand now. <laughs> ha! Fuck that card. Um, so now I think... Uh, I do actually think, like I said, that you built a stronger deck. And I think uh, if you have... If you had more experience playing Dishonor Scorpion... Um, you would have managed fate a little better. Um, but I do think, like, Scorpion does heavily rely on having stall cards. Yeah. And um, Clan Wars did give them a bunch of stall cards. Yeah, and uh, not having the free score is really noticeable in the stuff like the uh, Blackmail Artist, the Manipulator, the way... Like, the way the Scorpions didn't help now, but... It, against any other clan, the Way of the Scorpion is an incredible stall card. Yes. I mean, I, intelligently, neither of us put that in the deck. I mean, I put it in because I'm making these decks as a general. I'm not making them purposely for the for the. I mean, for these that's, matches. that's fair too. The other thing, like the actual real version, quote-unquote real version of this deck that I built, um, also does not run Way of the Scorpion. Because uh, Yojiro makes that not a stall card. I, th uh, I think you're uh, small brining it. I think you should put in put neutral characters in your deck so you can dishonor them yourself. I have considered doing stuff like that. Um... Like honestly, I still want to want to try the Scorpion uh, Imperial deck. So, you know, out of all the decks that can build it, Scorpion probably can build the best one. 
Uh, although Crane can give it a really good contender because they have a bunch of really nice Imperial characters. Sure, but Scorpion has has quite good rows in it. Yes, and they also have the holdings that give plus one plus one, and you know they 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 have a lot more but keys off of Imperial. Yep. Um, I should I should honestly just try and make that one day, just to do something different and have fun. Yeah, I mean. I've always said this to people that are feeling burned out on the game, uh, is try... Play game? I mean, yeah, play another game, take a break. Uh, problem is, I think, if you take an extended break from L5R, the likelihood of you coming back is lower. Yeah, that's, uh, that's within any game. But, like, if you are, like, if all you do is play competitive... Uh, you burn yourself out more, and so the solution there is play stupid junk decks. Um, and as long as you manage your expectations of, hey, I'm playing a stupid junk deck, I don't necessarily expect to do amazing if I come across a quote-unquote real deck. Um, you know, it, yeah. it, it's a lot more fun. Uh, but anyway... Uh, about these decks, I think uh, I think mine was pretty good. I think I just mismanages. I think my deck is harder to learn to play. Yes, because th that is the the classical Scorpion deck, if you will. Um, that is basically do as little as possible to not lose until you win. Yep. Um, and I think, like I said, I think we're the experience level is different. I think you have a, a stronger deck. I have a probably easier deck to learn to play with. Uh, once you can wrap your head around how to dishonor your characters. Um, and I think the, the reason why I came out ahead in this matchup is I got a much luckier uh, flip in the early game. Well, also, KB lets you be more aggressive. Which... Yes. This is definitely a more interactive deck, which will probably, okay. te which will probably teach you the rules better. It, it's definitely... I think your deck is a lot better to... Like, if, if this were a random game night, I would give your deck to someone else, because they're, cause your cards are a lot more stage forward. Yes. They are basically, like, walk forward, play cards to break, and then play cards to not die. Yeah, the only card I would... Uh, add to the deck uh, would be the uh, Geisha, the Beautiful Entertainer. Yes. Because it means you get less punished. Yes. Like, I think um, like expanding on my deck is pretty easy. Um, you probably want to get uh, the one with the Beautiful Entertainers. Uh, a second core uh, can actually let you be much more aggressive because I do have the compelling testimonies and we have showed you in the deck that means you can basically kill anything in the game. Yep. Good point. And also some more of the gen of the neutral and gen and good stuff. Scorpion cards like calling in favors. Yes. Yeah, having one of those. Um... But yeah, this, think... this is this is an aggro small tower deck. Although I never actually built a tower, um, I think mine deck is a lot harder to expand on because there are so many good scorpion cards scattered all over. You could add to this. Yes, yeah, like I. So the first thing I would probably do to that deck um, is actually get clan wars. Yeah, for device proprietors and the because the Dining Society is definitely lacking. Yes, because then you can swap out the back alley hideaways for the acclaimed Geisha houses. I think those are uh, clan wars. Yep. Um, and that actually lets you print money because you just keep swapping rings um, and just taking fade off of them. Yeah, because then you uh, you attack. You attack with whatever, and then actually switch to the ring you want. Yeah, or just uh, it just, just use it in ways to uh, remove fate from all the rings on the table. Yeah, which can really mess up a person's game plan if they're not paying attention, because some people like uh, um, account fate on rings mm -hmm. uh, in for their turn. Yep. 
I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like when when I play, I my la like if I have the absolute last attack in a turn, um, unless there's a clearly better ring, I either look to set up bad rings with fate for my opponent or good rings with fate for me if I'm going first or second next turn. Yeah, because for a lot of decks, like it's not really the case for Scorpion because you can sort of uh, ignore Dynasty. Not really anymore, but not you, as much anymore. But you don't. You you can get away with buy one character with a with a one or two fades, and then uh, slowly build up to eke out an advantage from your conflict deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to do that. Um, actually, one thing that would make your deck much better is like having forgeries in there. Um, because yeah, I, I really wanted I really wanted to, but um, I had to choose between censure and forgery, and the the pack, pack of censure gave gave me just a lot more. Yeah, because um, forgery is a a pretty fair cancel that Scorpion can still use reliably. Uh, it's it's uh, the right amount of unfair. I mean, it's a cancel. It's inherently unfair, but like, it's it's a it's an appropriately costed cancel in this game. It has a mm. it has a fake cost yeah. and it has a requirement. Yeah. Um, but that lets um, City of the Open Hand actually play the control game it needs to play. Yeah, because you have more consistency in cancels, you got more cancels overall, mm -hmm. and uh, not having the favor isn't a. Um... It doesn't because like as soon as I had the favor, I was like, awesome, I can play this ambush, and yeah. be fine. Um, and I think if you had had a forgery to cancel that ambush, um... I don't think I could have because you managed to be lo uh, lower in honor for most of the game. Uh, no, but that last... Uh, this moment, yeah, yeah, here. This this turn, you could have cancelled it, and that would have um, presented me with a problem. Cause Fair I, enough. Uh, so, like, having cancels is definitely um, an it's, important it's thing. It's, yeah, it's necessary for the, for the Scorpion deck, or even um, any kind of control deck. Yeah, I was going to say, it bro bro more broadly speaking, any control deck needs it. Um, forgery is basically only for Scorpion, despite it having an influence cost, because not every clan can as consistently or reliably manipulate their honor totals to have it turned on when they need it. I know, I, a Unicorn does a good job of tanking honor. Yeah, but that's more of a free fall and less of like a controlled descent. <laughs> Uh, go, it, it's uh, the right direction and that's down. Yes, it is the right direction, <clears throat> just maybe not the right speed. But uh, I think that's a an experience we'll get to do next week. Because next week is Unicorn. I honestly have no idea what to do with Unicorn. Like, that's where I, I got Grease before. Unicorn just has so much spread out. Unicorn is all over the goddamn place. Like, the MVP, or one of the MVPs, Tetsuko, is in the Scorpion pack. And you basically get nothing else out of that as Unicorn. So, it's going to be... Oh, and also, like, Corset is kind of garbage. But you kind of need the Corset for the provinces. So, it's, it's just going to be a wild, wild thing to try and do. Yeah, I, I got a, like, um, there's some shenanigans you can do with uh, GPO and trying to build that power deck with the with the uh, budget you have, um, but your dynasty is just so sparse. Yeah, like that, the, like, right after last year's world's unicorn tower deck before line exploded and did it better. Uh, is probably the strongest deck you can make uh, in this kind of format, maybe. 
I don't even know, like, well, no, because all the stand effects, like Fan of Command, are... Uh, Fan of Command is in a pack. I, I can service in a pack as well. Yeah. So, maybe... They're in can... packs, but, but the problem is you don't have the characters to support it. Because once you get core, you get the clan pack, like, your big characters are Chagatai, who is amazing. Yeah. Uh, and Shinjo Tatsuo. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I guess that, that's a thing. Yeah, y your character quality goes I guess down hard. You probably also need uh, Clan Wars for the Twilight Rider, or was he in a pack? Um, he's in a pack because okay. he has Rally. Oh, yeah, he does. He does. That's right. That's right. Um, but yeah, that's uh, I won one. I feel good about winning the Scorpion one. Hey, uh, we kind of suspected it because uh, it's the one I probably played the least. I mean, like. If nothing else, at least it wasn't a complete blowout, and I didn't go 0-7. Yeah. What, one in five is not great, but at least I won with the one I care about, so. Um, but yeah, so I think, uh, I think if you were going to try and build either of these decks, I think a new person, like you said, would have more success with the version I built. Uh, yeah, yours, just yours be... is just straight up more straightforward, easier to learn, and I think uh, your your dynasty, while your conflict side might be weaker overall, mm -hmm. uh, your the balance between your decks is just a lot better. Yeah, I think, uh, I think you have the stronger play style but that playstyle needs a lot more cards to support it. A lot more cards, a lot more uh, know-how of the game, knowing when to play cards, knowing when not. Yep. All right, well, that takes us through week six. Uh, thank you to everyone who's ended up, who will end up watching this, if anyone. Uh, um, I continue to enjoy it. I know Scorpion is a weird thing to play, and if you don't have a lot of experience, it can definitely feel... Um... They are not the clan I would start out playing the game with, unless you can have like a 3,000 IQ big brain play every day. Every day. Hey, I mean, some, some people uh, like uh, go, going through the hard mode and, and starting out with the uh, control style, because that's just how some people like it. Yes. I think I think probably out of core, like all the clans are are fine. Like the core options for Scorpion weren't even all that amazing for the um, Dishonor build. No, but all, I think they were kind of all over the place. Yes, I, I I've talked to some people about that, and I think out of core, Lion I think performed the best. Uh, it's Lion or Crane. Yeah. I'm saying Crane because the uh, Shizuku Toshi just did a lot in Core. Oh, that's, that's the only time it ever did anything. Well, it, <laughs> it, it uh, got used on uh, in Worlds 2018. 18, yeah, 18. Yeah. I, I, I was trying to figure out what year we're mm -hmm. in. And... There's been a lot of years in just this past year, it feels like. Yeah. Um, but no, I think um, a lot of that actually has to do with the predominant play style that's developed. And I think if you took that play style that Scorpion has now and transplanted it back into a core-only environment, uh, they would perform much better than they did. Um, what do you mean? So... When Core came out, it hadn't yet turned into a bid five meta kind of thing. Oh, you mean you mean if people uh, if played people played Core, Core more... like they do now, I think Scorpion would perform better. Oh yeah, I mean the the Core period was a weird wild west of people playing the game completely wrong. Not bidding five turn one. No, no, I mean actually <laughs> actually playing the game wrong. Oh yeah, that too. I like mean... like. Like people were uh, doing conflicts with with characters with dashes, mm -hmm. 
um, illegal Egon Eagle plays during the World Championship it was just a weird, a weird time because probably World 2017 was too fast. Well, because it released and there was World. Uh, no, it the... was Octo October was the release and November was the Worlds. Yeah. That wasn't ever going to turn out well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this isn't a this isn't a simple game. Like this is probably one of the more complicated and complex card games. Um, and you know, even discounting the different designers we've had, the different wording on cards. Um, even if you assume every card was worded consistently, there's still so many decision points in this game that it's a lot to keep track of. I mean, that's that's probably like ignoring uh, cards and, and such and, and the wording being bad, mm -hmm. or, or at least very inconsistent sometimes. Uh, the amount of decision points is probably the highest in any card game I've played. Yeah, no, it, that has it, a competitive scene. This is this is just a fucking ridiculously complex um, card game. Like, there's there's really no way around it. The card interactions are uh, involved. Um, the rules are sometimes complicated, and it just. I enjoy the game because of it. I'm not saying it that it's a bad thing, um, but it's definitely a uh, an obstacle to people playing the game. But hopefully, this helps some people get into it. Yeah, because in the end of the day, what we're trying to show with these videos is just that there are all alternate alternative ways to get into the game. Now with the um, Expanded card pool with all the clan packs out with the premium boxes that uh, free cores it sucks. Like, if you, when the game just came out, it was fine because you got nothing else, mm -hmm. but with stuff coming out, um, just feels uh, annoying. To yeah, buy the same product three times and then you need to get cards to make uh, competitive decks or playable decks in some clans cases I mean like yeah that's I, I don't want to set myself on a rant about how the core sets are structured um, but I definitely think you could make a reasonably competitive deck now without having to buy three core sets yeah I think uh, definitely some of our decks proved uh, that with $120 you have um, a start and that with min with uh, like the F the Phoenix Charge per deck that I made, I think mm -hmm. I think if with like two two uh, choice packs to uh, flash out the Dynasty side and a little bit the complex side, uh, you're really uh, increasing the um, consistency, strength, the consistency yeah. and the strength of the deck dramatically. Yep. All right. Well, I think uh, this is a good place to call it. Uh, next week is definitely going to be interesting, but I'm looking forward to it. Yep. It's going to be interesting. All right. Thank you guys for joining us, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.